With the introduction of Ginger Island and the Forge came a brand new set of weapons that are the best in the game. The Infinity Blade, Gavel, and Dagger are the upgraded versions of their Galaxy counterparts and are better than anything else you'll find. Today we'll take a look at just how good these new weapons are in terms of their base damage, attack speed, and other bonuses, and then we'll look at how using the Forge can take them to the next level. If you guys find this video helpful and want to support the channel, leaving a like helps it do a lot better on YouTube, and if you'd like to view my videos, consider subscribing. I also stream live at twitch.tv slash unsurpassablez, and I'd love to have you over there. Quickly, I'd like to go over how to get the Galaxy weapons, since many of you may not know how to, or are even aware that there are three different options. To obtain the Galaxy Hammer or Dagger, you first need a Galaxy Sword, so take a Prismatic Shard to the desert and stand right here. After you've done this, the Adventurer's Guild will sell you the Galaxy Hammer for 75,000, the Galaxy Dagger for 35,000, or another Galaxy Sword for 50,000. To turn these weapons into their upgraded versions, you'll need to take it to the Forge with three Galaxy Souls and 60 Cinder Shards. Galaxy Souls can be bought from Key's Walnut Room using Key Gems, which I just posted a guide on how to get those, or you can get them as a drop while doing the harder versions of Key's Skull Cavern, which I also talk about in my Key's Challenges video. If you need help getting Cinder Shards, I made a Volcano Mine tutorial, and if you need to know how the Forge works, I did a whole video on that too. We'll start off our comparison by just looking at the base versions of the Galaxy and Infinity weapons without any upgrades from the Forge. First up is the Infinity Blade, which boasts a damage range of 80 to 100 compared to the Galaxy Sword's range of 60 to 80. With a base damage increase of around 29%, this makes it better than upgrading from a Lava Katana to a Galaxy Sword. The attack speed and knockback remain the same, but the Infinity Blade picks up an additional bonus of plus 2 defense, which is really cool to have on a sword. Next up is the Infinity Dagger. It has a damage range of 50 to 70, up from the Galaxy Dagger's range of 30 to 40, a 68% increase. I don't think this increase comes from the Infinity Dagger being overpowered, but rather it is being brought up to par with the other legendary weapons. You can just see from the level of the dagger compared to the other weapons that its previous version was a bit lackluster, whereas now it's a much closer battle. Again, there's no increase in speed or knockback, but the Infinity Dagger does have a plus 3 defense boost, whereas the Galaxy Dagger has none. Additionally, upgrading your dagger will give you another plus 3 to your critical strike chance. Finally, we'll look at the Infinity Gavel. It has a damage range of 100 to 120, beating the Galaxy Hammer 70 to 90 by 33%. It keeps the same speed and knockback, but brings another plus 1 defense to the table. Now that we've seen how the Infinity weapons compare to their Galaxy versions, let's see how far we can push their performance using the Forge. It's worth noting that if you make an upgrade to your Galaxy weapon via the Forge, then turn it into an Infinity weapon, it will retain the upgrades you've already made. You'll get an additional 1 level of knockback or plus 10 weight for every Amethyst you upgrade with. The one exception to this is the Infinity Gavel, which has no difference between its base version and its first upgrade. At the highest level, you'll likely push every enemy back into whatever wall is behind them, or you can send flying enemies entirely off your screen. If you're the kind of person that doesn't necessarily like combat, this could be a great upgrade for your weapons. Aquamarines add a higher chance of receiving a critical hit. The Infinity Blade and Gavel both receive a plus 3 critical strike chance at level 1, which raises to plus 6 at level 2, then plus 8 at level 3. Since the Infinity Dagger already has a higher critical strike chance, its stats go from plus 6 to plus 9, then all the way up to plus 11 at the highest level. Emeralds give a weapon a faster attack speed. Now remember as we're going over the stats here that different weapon types have different base attack speeds. This means that if a sword has plus 4 speed, it has 4 levels of speed higher than the base attack speed for a sword. A sword with plus 4 speed is still faster than a club with plus 4 speed, and it's slower than a dagger that has plus 4 speed, even though they all have the same stat. The Infinity Blade starts at a base attack speed of plus 4, which is increased to plus 6, plus 9, and plus 11 after each upgrade. The Infinity Gavel starts at a base speed of plus 2, then after upgrading goes to plus 4, plus 7, and then plus 9. The Dagger starts at plus 1, then upgrades to plus 4, plus 6, and plus 9. Topaz gives you an additional defense level per upgrade in the Forge. The Infinity Blade starts at a base level of plus 2 and goes up to plus 5, the Gavel starts at plus 1 and goes up to plus 4, and the Dagger starts at plus 3 and goes up to plus 6. For those that don't know how defense works, it reduces the total damage that you take by one point per defense level. For example, a green slime usually deals 4 to 6 damage, but if you have plus 1 defense, this would be reduced to 3 to 5. Since enemies start dealing well over 20 damage at a higher level, I don't think that this would be the most helpful upgrade. Jades will provide you with a higher critical hit power, and to be blunt, I don't really think this is a good upgrade. I'll save you all the math details, but here's the equation for how critical hit damage is calculated. I think the way it works is that if you were to hit a 100 and the game gave you a critical strike, your normal critical hit would be a 300. If you've upgraded your weapon fully with the forge, this critical hit would increase to 328, which isn't even a third of your base damage. I think it'd be better just to upgrade your base damage with rubies, which in turn also increase your critical hit damage. Still though, if you're curious, your critical hit power goes from plus 0 to plus 4 to plus 10, and then finally to plus 14 for all the weapons. 
Rubies increase your minimum and maximum base damage by 10% for every level. Here are the stats for the Infinity Blade at each level, going all the way up to 104 to 130 damage. Here are the stats for the Infinity Gavel, which deals 130 to 156 damage. And here are the stats for the Infinity Dagger, dealing 65 to 91 damage. When we look at the base Galaxy Sword, aka what used to be the best sword in the game prior to 1.5, and compare it to the upgraded Infinity Blade, you can see that there's around a 68% increase in base damage, which is absolutely insane. The gavel follows suit with an 80% increase in base damage compared to the original Galaxy Hammer, and the dagger does more than twice as much damage. For this reason, I'd say that the damage upgrade from rubies gives you what should be considered the newest best weapons in the game, and which one you use is personal preference. If you guys have a different preference for what your favorite upgrades are to make at the forge, let me know in the comments below, but otherwise that's all that I have for you. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.